Hey all, this is Zerus. Welcome back to the Battle for the Nile. As we continue to expand our empire, we have six cities down. Probably all the ones we're going to settle, unless we seem a little crazy and want to settle another one to get this incense. That would be a hard sell, I think, for me, honestly. Even for unique Lux. But we'll see. Beyond that, we're trying to get our economy back into shape. We are getting there, slowly but surely. And upgrading our military in between with the money we earn, so... All this is well and good. I'm gonna continue improving the land around Kirma the Frog, uh, so we can get a little better. One turn to border growth, so you know what that means. We're gonna not move the archers there, we're gonna move the workers there. And the archers are gonna stop doing that, because I misclicked and that happens sometimes. Ote! We also need another worker for Adindan, uh, which we are gonna get. Let's do that before the Templo Mayor here, okay? Can we do that first? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we need to get another worker there because we need to improve Adindan a little bit and uh, make sure that we can keep prospering in the manner in which we become accustomed. Uh, we're gonna need to improve the sheep, we need to improve the horse, but we will improve there eventually. I mean, expand there eventually, but not before we grow a little slower in the time being. Anyways, all is good though. Happiness is doing okay. We're about to get a Writer's Guild. This is cool. Let's see what happens next. I'm still, I mean, Ramses clearly has designs on my territory. He wouldn't have denounced me and, you know, talked shit more or less if he didn't want to go after me at some point, comma, bro. Oh, but so far, we're doing all right. Our military strength is apparently still above the point where he thinks we're easy pickings. And that's, that's, I guess, all I could ask for at this point. I'm just going to quickly double check if all my cities are actually on production focus. There we go. Yeah, I, I tend to forget to do that sometimes. It's a, it's a failing of mine. Uh, new decisions available. I was about to say, don't we have new decisions here? And we do. So we could codify laws, which is extra happiness, and we could burn culture for that. I'm, I'm gonna put this off a little bit. Uh, we can celebrate Sadet, which is a Zoroastrian religion thing. 70%, we get science and production. Ooh, that's not bad. But I wanna do this. Two faith and one magistrate gives me... So let's say, that renegotiate the Bakht. Bakht has long been a source of both peace and tension between us and our northern neighbors. We should attempt negotiations to have a better deal once per game. We can only do this once. It only costs two faith, which is pretty funny. One magistrate, and it gives us one extra trade route. Don't mind if I do. Let me hit that real quick. Just a little bit. And so those are our unique Mercurian ones done. And then the question is, yeah, do we roll codify laws or do we not? I mean, I could do this already. Uh, once we have the amount of gold, but I think military is more important at this stage. I want to do this. We need gold. So I'm going to save my magistrates for those, I think. Codify laws and the scales, weights, and measures. All these are going to be useful to improve our economy in the long run. So I'm going to kind of hold off on burning that on the unique religious ones yet. Oh, we took a, they took a Nubian city here. Oh, good on you. Good on you, Joser. Really, that's, that's good work. I'm impressed. I didn't realize Nubia was that aggressive in its uh, settlement, but I guess it is. So go figure. But we have enough money to get another composite up, which is just absolutely stellar as far as I'm concerned. So let's do that. Again, I don't trust Ramsey, so I'm going to upgrade from right to left, more or less. All right, so Kassiri Brim is already building. Oh, you're already building another worker. Yeah. I don't know. That's where we told you to build a worker. Uh, is that right? Was that smart? We could do it in five after the mint. Yeah, we probably should build it here. But you know what? Let's take the opportunity to build the barracks out here at least. What would the stable give us? The stable would give us plus one production on the horse and on the sheep. You know, stable wouldn't be bad. Let's get a stable up before the barracks and then the amphitheater. We're going to have to kickstart our culture a little bit. That's what the Writers Guild is going to do. I want legalism. It's going to give us a free amphitheater and or a free um, opera house should the need arise. That'll be pretty nice. Let's keep going. Horse creating 14 for Soleb. I mean, in the first four cities granted, we have six. So not all are going to get the benefit. Vancouver and the Garamantes are buddies. Where is Vancouver? It's up here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. It's on the, uh, the city-state island, which isn't an island technically, I guess. But I just found out the hard way. Uh, we have more horses available to sell. That's good. We need to really get a worker to take advantage of that at some point. Looks like... Is this Apophis or this... No, this early dynastic. This is Narmer. That's Narmer running around. Uh, where are you going to expand to? Apparently not the tile I just chopped, so poop on you. Okay, whatevs. Uh, let's get the worker back. What's easier? Probably this way, honestly. Go that way. I do want to get iron working, like I said, uh, because I do want the special swordsman that we have, which will help us, I think, significantly 
Um, and let me just see what we're doing here. Yeah, ironworking for sure because we're afraid of Ramses. Engineering so we could run across rivers and then we'll beeline education. That makes sense. And I'll probably... Probably push for astronomy. Though the caravels are... Yeah, I don't know. Or I'll push for acoustics and get the Musicians Guild and try for the Sistine Chapel. That's not a bad thing. Especially if we're trying to push a little more on culture. And we can have upgrade our scout to a explorer. And we can eventually get to a surveyor as well. So that's going to help nicely too. All good, baby. All good. All right. So that looks pretty cool. Let's just keep going and see what the uh, Enlightenment Era eventually holds for us. But for now, we're going to go here. We're going to heal up that warrior as he keeps an eye on our borderlands. And we move onward and upward. All right, and we're gonna save some more money for the next inevitable upgrade into composites, which will be nice. And I mean, oligarchy, when we do get that belief, is gonna help us. We're gonna be able to save money by staffing units in our cities, so that's not altogether too bad either. Um, this can be a farm, actually. It's just gonna be tundra. It's not as much food outright, but again, we can't work it, so who cares? Uh, we can't work it, right? Yeah, no, we can't work it. Um, so what do we improve now at this rate? Could do some mines, I guess, or we can start building a road toward Adindan. Uh, and we're going to drop some people from working here into the guild. So that's going to slow things down a bit. Yeah, let's go over and work on Adindan a bit. Let's start improving the terrain itself first. And then I think, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll build a road and we have another worker ready. Like that one, who's got nothing better to do. Do you have nothing better to do? You do have nothing better to do. Okay, that's actually true. Um, I could chop this forest, and this will be a freshwater farm because of the oasis. So let me do that here. You do have something better to do. Actually, it turns out you're not completely useless to me yet. All right, onward and upward. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to be constantly cranking out these coliseums because with this many cities, we want to make sure we're able to maintain happiness where we need it. And the strategy now religiously is I think I'm going to get a, um, a missionary to convert across Soleb just to have it and then get at last pagoda that I need. I think all my other cities have it, save Adindan. I may just buy one here first, and then get uh, and then get it there. I don't know. It depends. This is going to be an easy one to retain my faith in, because we're the only ones pressuring it. It's at 14, so we should easily flip uh, relatively quickly. Uh, can we take a peek here? All right. So we got to get out of here, obviously, before they lock us down, before they buy this tile or something annoying like that. Heliopolis is his... Not his capital. Memphis is his capital. Memphis! Yeah, <laughs> Memphis was Egyptian first, man. Memphis was Egyptian first. And Ramses dropped Aswan on this continent. Not surprising. So we're not going to go for the incense as I thought. All right. So much for that. Kerma has grown, though, and that's fine. Work this because that'll be better sooner. And we're going to market the granary of the walls. That's all good, I think. What else needs orders, friend? Is that the only one that grew? That is the only one that grew. Uh, worker Ias, you're working up to move back this way. You are... Oh, you can just chop that. Screw that. You just start running over down to Adindan and start building the road to Adindan, I think, actually. That's what I want to do with you. Uh, let's do that. Let's get you toward Adindan as well. On the road is probably the fastest way. Archer. Yeah, let's man an archer back at Dongola. Is really the fastest way to Dongola? Show me the way to Dongola! That's got to be a song at some point. We got to make that happen. Some kind of like I'm 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 feeling some kind of country western kind of like Egyptian Empire has set the city of Heliopolis ablaze. What? Oh, S O B Ramsey just took Heliopolis as I was saying that. They're raising Heliopolis, really? Oh, that sucks, donkey balls. That's really kind of bad. Huh? That's not so good. I guess other archer down to Adindan, I guess. Um, yeah, let's get you over to Adindan. Uh, we can get the warrior out of there then. And we'll have an archer in every city. Chicken in every pot and all those other good things. Uh, but we're going to have to keep scooting around a little bit. Because apparently that shit's getting real uh, with a quickness. Okay. So worker. Worker here. You're going to chop this. Warrior can keep an eye on that worker. I'm doing this because like um, I may have mentioned if you didn't catch it. Uh, well, now you may. If you chop forests, uh, the city will be more likely to get that tile. Uh, basically. So that's kind of the logic between me chopping these forests. I don't need to make freshwater farms. Hi, Garamantes. You're going to drop a city on my continent, are you not? All right. Uh, it could be worse to have a Garamantes neighbor, but yeah, he's pretty strong right now. So I'm not too keen on having him there, but I wasn't going to settle there anyway. So you know what? At least he's... Is he friendly with me? Let's see. He's kind of friendly with me. Yeah, he's all right. He, ha he doesn't hate me yet. He, he may eventually... 
But then we'll take care of them. We'll just, you know, burn a city to the ground. There's coral up there. Oh, that's right. I needed money to get this coral at some point. But luckily, Avarice is not expanding for... I was going to say it mean. It's not expanding. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> like, let me just censor myself just a little bit. So I don't sound quite so uncouth. Uh, Lord Cleopatra. Lady Cleopatra, you ignorant shite. But anyway, welcome to the most prized realm of the Nile. How may the queen who sits atop its throne help you? Mmm. Well, I could think of a myriad of ways. Uh, for now, how about an embassy, okay? Oh, you're up there. You're north of Akhenaten and south of Djoser. South of Memphis! That's gonna be, I don't know, that's gonna be a thing. I know, I know it's Egyptian first, but still, I, I just think that's kind of funny to me. Still, a little bit. I'm gonna try to cultivate a positive trading relationship with the Gadamantes a little bit. Um, maybe we can get them to trade some good stuff for us. Civil service! We're the last ones to meet evil. Yay! I feel special! Um... We can go... One for extra, I suppose. What do our cities want? You want... You begun on a market. Can we see what we want? Truffles! Cocoa, whales, gold, nothing, and lapis. So nothing he has we actually want. Damn, nothing he has extras of, rather. So let's just go for copper for now. Let's trade out crabs. We're definitely going to get that one back. Give him a little bit of a boost. Uh, he just, just dropped... The hell? That's too many L's and I's. Siliba, I think? Yeah, he just dropped a city right next to us. Which, you know, if a human did that, yeah, I would be like, Rah! But as it stands, I can't really do that. Uh, we can't call him on settling. I mean, we could say that, but he's going to get pissed off and try to attack us, and I don't want that. That's not what I want with my friend. So I'm going to instead improve a Dindan and just, you know, grin and bear it, I suppose. All right. Um, so let's keep going south, I guess, seeing what Ramesses is doing. But he is burning Heliopolis like, like whoa, right now. So that's not that's not good news. Uh, it's not terrible news, but it's not, it's not good news. Let's keep building farms everywhere we can. And how close are we? To, yeah, we are done with the, let's say, we need that Writer's Guild at some point, don't we? All right, so let's try and staff this and then control the damage at this point. Oh, that's not too bad. Not as damaging as I thought. We're still growing in eight. Our production's still okay. Oh, that's not bad. I really thought that'd be worse. All right, cool beans. That works for me. Market Stoneworks, we're going to build a lot of stuff here. We're going to need to build the amphitheater to get whatever that great wider poops out. Uh, we're going to need to get a Coliseum. We need a stable. Probably stable before the Coliseum. What happened is actually okay for now. A uh, Synobium would be nice. Uh, a lot of things would be nice. This would be more money from our trade route. So I guess nearby luxuries, we got one olive and one crab. So that would be good. Barracks. Let's just queue all this crap up and then we'll just keep putting production toward it until we're bored. All right. But our money is definitely doing better now, which is what I was struggling with initially. But now we're all honky-dory. Honk, honk. Uh, no. Not a chance in hell. Are you getting open borders? with me. And I, I'm really debating whether I should buy this coral sooner rather than later, because it looks like we're not expanding in that general direction. The problem is buying ocean tiles, I think, is rather expensive, and I'd rather have my composites up first. Yeah, look at that. 115 for that tile. Like, I understand the ocean is tough to whatever, but... Damn, son. Like, I really want that tile. Why you gotta do that to me? Soleb, uh, you need... Food badly. Yeah, you do. Because we're working on pure production tiles. So that's fine. Do you have any routes coming out of Soleb? I don't think we do. Hold on. Uh, no, we don't. Dongola and Faras. So yeah, Dongola makes sense for Synobium. Faras makes sense for a Synobium. Which I should be queuing up, actually. After the shrine. Then Amphitheater. Uh, we get a benefit out of a stable here. We'd get the cows. But that's about it. That's not great. Let's do the barracks and the walls in that order. And then we'll talk. Um, Kerma, yeah, we already got that queued up. But we do want this. We do want that at some point. We don't have any trade dress from Kerma yet. So we get the Synobium at some point later, I guess. It's pretty expensive as far as uh, hammers go, so eh. And what else do we have here? Heliopolis is doing good stuff. Meaning burning to death. It's not actually doing well at all. I'm just I'm joking. In a sick kind of way that I do. All right, that archer's there. You're done with the... Wow, you worked pretty quick that time. That's good. Uh, let's get you up... Uh, we're expanding to the fish. That's fine. Let's get you up to Kerma and get another farm going, I guess. I'll leave this for now. Uh, and we saw Solib grow already, which we already allocated. So, booyah. We have another worker. This one will make the road from Dongolado Adindan, I think. And then we'll be better off. 
What's the best, most efficient road here? I mean, yeah, the whole center of the spoke is better. So if we make a road from Dongalago and Dadindan, it may not be as most monetarily efficient, but it will be... Yeah, I need to keep my money up, so let's keep doing that. Uh, this will be one, two... Damn it! Uh, sorry, no... And now you're friendly, you prick! Okay, uh, no interest. I'm not gonna attack Cleo, I just met her. But let's just keep talking here. I'm trying hard here. One, two, three, four... Four tiles here versus one, two, three, four, five. So not as monetarily efficient as that road would be, but... Troop deployment-wise, it's better. But if I need to get to Kerma, I don't see any... F nah, that's right, never mind. I don't see any threats coming from down here from the South Pole, so... I guess it makes more sense to be able to move troops to the front line from Adinan. So this is actually more monetarily efficient and probably more sensible in the long run. Alright, that works, I guess. I figured that would happen. So you're religious again. I'm gonna buy this pagoda before I go out. Okay, we're... Oh, crap. We've got more... Muslim pressure. But we'll have way more pressure in... Siliba, so that'll help us pressure out... Solib a little. It's gonna be a fight for followers right now a little bit. Eh, we'll figure something out. Alright, no, there's no way you can work that tile and stay growing, so we need you to grow, buddy. You have lack of food right now. The temple's getting finished. Let's go amphitheater. Stable would give me horses, and... No, you don't get anything out of buffalo. Do you have any sheep? You do not, so it's not really that important. Uh, let's go racks, then. Then we'll talk. What else do we have? Ah, our scout, that's right. Let's keep looking. What do we got? Mm, not much exciting there. Only one that grew? Yep, Cassidy but him just grew. Yeah, I know I didn't know to adopt my religion eventually. Chief and armor, horses and armor ended. Oh really, you don't want horses anymore, bro? What's going on, eh? Uh you don't want the horse to say. Uh you know for that? Oh, you'll still give me stuff. So why did you not renew the deal, you ignorant twit? Thank you. Alright, I want my money to keep flowing in, I'm just saying. I would really appreciate that. Uh let's keep Dongla strong, and then we'll have two, three more archers to upgrade, and then we'll be doing okay. All right, cool. And what else? We have the new worker, which we need to do something with. I'm going to leave the warrior here patrolling the front lines here in case barbarians decide to come knocking. You need to go down and start building the road to Adindan from here as we discussed. So go there. That's your first move. You, on the other hand, finish chopping that. And good, so you're going to expand right there. You see that? That's what the chopping did. Chopping! And then we're, this is going to be another freshwater farm, so we're going to chop that for us. This is all helping our production, too. So this is never really wasted, per se. Uh, so I'm more or less content with that. You, Kerma... Yeah, let me just keep building farms, I guess. We'll get the fish for the next citizen. We'll have that for the next citizen. Probably makes sense to build the farm still, and then I'll maybe help with the road. But I think our cash is doing okay. I don't have to do that too hard. Wow, everybody wants to kill everybody. Like, really? Y'all are getting plotted against. I'm just saying. Wow. Can we not kill Akhenaten? Because he's not doing so hot. If you noticed. I mean, he's... No, he's doing okay. He's fourth, I guess. Um, but, damn. Everybody wants to kill everybody. I guess this is going to be an aggressive game. So, I could open patronage or some of these other ways, but I think I'm going to do the traditional liberty mix that we kind of did on our huge earth TSL. I mean, the situation is a little different, granted. But getting... Finishing this lets me buy great engineers later, which always helps. And oligarchy is going to help me defend myself, which always helps. And this gives me more money because of low... Unit maintenance for me in my cities, which helps. So honestly, I think that's honest the best choice here. Aesthetics is always nice, and I may, yeah, I may open that at some point. But you know what? Let's go oligarchy for now. And there we go. Our economy went way up, saving us some money on unit maintenance. So that's real good. That's real parody. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, how about we see this way before we go anywhere else? Ormush is there. Probably go out here and see what's sort of the edge. We met everybody yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we met everyone now. So it's going to be a rush to the uh, the printing press to see who founds a national college. We'll see. I mean, national college. Uh, World Congress. Not quite the national college. Uh, we already did that. <laughs> Been there. Done that. Um. Okay. So yeah, now we're getting pressured out by Islam, which is a little scary. I don't like that very much. Wow, you didn't ask me. Now you want to be buddies. Alright, that's, that's fine, I guess. Um, Remy's a clear war on Cleo. After I made friends with him, you douche. At least trade embassies, and that'll be okay. He basically did that to make sure I stay off his back while he goes after Cleo. And, you know, whatever. I'm not going to attack him right now. But it's going to come soon. He's got a lot of um, Muslim cities right now. There's so much 
Islam pressure here. I'm lucky I got a Sinaran Preachers, otherwise, I mean, my entire empire would be Islamic. I wouldn't have the chance to actually build my Zoroastrian pagodas. And that would be a shame, because uh, we did, you know, push for that belief in the long, in the end, actually. All right, so go here and build that road. Uh, that's what we needed you to do. And so far, so good. Uh, Faras, are you building what I'm telling you to build? Yeah, you are. Uh, maybe amphitheater before the Synovium, honestly. I need the culture, I think. Yeah, we've been prioritizing that everywhere that we're building it. Yeah, pretty much. Stoneworks will help me build that amphitheater, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, we're prioritizing the culture side of things, except here. We have enough food, though. Let's do that in that order, actually. That's, I think it's smarter. Great Mosque of Jenne. Um, is that... Now we have to see who that is, actually. It may be Ramesses. Because I'm expecting to see Islamic missionaries running around like crazy in a second. Just all up in my citizenry's grill. No. No open borders for thee. Stop asking. This is when we got Angkor Wat. That's alright. Yeah, did Ramses actually build anything? Because he's the wonder spammer, technically. He's the one with the unique... Or is he now? I don't think he is anymore. Maybe that went to uh, Joser. Yeah, he's got no more wonders. Narmer built them like, whoa. Pi built some. Joser just got the mausoleum. Alright, so, I mean, the real wonder carrier is Narmer. And he's probably not going to die anytime soon. I do want his capital. Dingies! Uh, and it'll be pretty easy to defend because it is on the south. But I don't want to absolutely crush Narmer. He's got seven cities, so one, two, three wouldn't hurt him too much. And would get me all the wonders. Get me all the things. That'd be pretty, pretty cool, honestly. You know, I wouldn't mind having all the wonders. Um, let's, yeah, let's go east as we were planning in the first place. Now that we scout out all the way there. Yeah, let's do that. Archer is fine. Archer can defend. Warrior can go to the front lines. Probably fastest to get on the road. You make the road that we will eventually get onto. And you. What to do with you? Um, you can help with the road, but I think we're okay. Why don't you just keep building farms out here? Get over there and a move. Finish the cows. Good. Build a farm. Uh, Kastir Ibrahim, can you work the cows now? A better tile than we're currently working? Not currently, but it will be a good tile later, so we'll leave it for now. All right. Good enough. Uh, we may purchase with faith. That's right. We can get another pagoda. Let's do it. This is not going to help our happiness immediately because we can't really help the happiness that much. We only have one citizen, but the next citizen that grows here won't get any happiness minus for it because we'll have plus two happiness from it. El Chareg, who are you at war with? You're at war with the Hyksos. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe, uh, oh no. Oh, hell no. No, I gotta get that coral. I may need to save some money to acquire that coral before this city decides to go out and buy it. Mmm, this could be problematic. I may have to put off my military just a second because I need to get the money for that now. I didn't realize he's gonna settle a city here. Now I must do something proactive, otherwise I'm gonna lose that coral and... Part of the reason for settling Kerma is going to be, I won't say evaporated, but less compelling. All right, Kerma has grown, and Faras has grown. So Faras, uh, yeah, do some production mix, that's fine. And Kerma has grown, that is totally fine. Yeah, we need to save money for that ocean tile and then whatever's on the other side of it, namely the coral. So that's, that's probably our main strategy there. Good enough for me. Oh, we got a Narmer Settler. Interesting. Where the hell are you going? I don't know where he's going. That'll be interesting. Uh, you chopped that already, so why don't we go here, and you go there. Yeah, where are you going? That's kind of crazy that they're dropping this many Settlers everywhere. So we took care of both of these, right? Kerma's in the right place? Yeah. All right, good enough. Next. Now, where's this little guy going? I gotta see. Because he doesn't have open borders with me. So I guess he's maybe... Oh, you know what he's doing? The scout is actually spotting for him. He's going to try to squeeze through here. Yeah, he is, isn't he? A little cheeky git. He's gonna try to get through this little gap. Alright, well, we're just gonna put something there to not let him do that. Like that warrior who's about to be there. Uh, yeah, he's about to be there and block him off, so that works just fine. He's not gonna need open borders from me. No siree, Bob. Um, so let's buy that. 95. Alright. We need to... Four more turns or so? Then we'll probably be able to afford it. That's nice. All right, let's see. You finish that. Let's improve the sheep next. You're working the horses. Exactly what I want you to work. Um, you are milling the farm, which is what I want you to do. Who grew? Adin Dunn has grown. Yeah, we took care of that. New decisions are available. Uh, our culture is definitely much better now. Ha! Huh? Uh, we could codify laws. I'm going to keep pushing for the free culture buildings, I think. Uh, or should I be? 25 turns. I'll get probably all the amphitheaters I want in there already. 
by then, and then the next one will be opera houses, and that'll be pretty cool. Free opera houses will definitely help us out. The first four cities are these four, and we'll definitely have amphitheaters up before the next policy, so that's probably where I'm going to go. So I'm going to put off the uh, code of laws for now, unless we drop in happiness some horribly precipitous way that we did not expect, but I don't expect that. Which is, I guess, kind of the point of me saying that, but you know what I'm trying to say, more or less. Um, unless something really untoward happens, we should be all right. You still want horses? Yes, you do. Let's go with two more for three more. We can keep this cranking, get you out of all your money. And we can keep making money on location. Dire Straits, what? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Music references, too many. Stop talking. Okay. Um, you worker have nothing to do right now. You're going to expand there in two, maybe. Either way, you're going to want to build a farm on here. So let's just wait here for a second. Uh, warrior, stay on the road, I guess. That makes sense. And next. Yeah, he's going to jump in the water. We're going to put the warrior there, and he won't be able to embark. He's going to ask me for open borders. I'm going to say, nay! And then he's going to be pissed, and then we'll kill him later. Oh, you monkey's uncle. Oh, look at that clever little scout. He's making room for his settler. Oh, that's so smart. God, the AI got better. It really did. It's kind of frustrating. But we can still block him with the warrior there. So, ha! I get the last laugh, foo. Uh, Pitom is there. Jerusalem's getting its ass kicked by city-states, I guess. It's pretty funny. Um, bad Ramses. Don't let Jerusalem burn again. Uh, let's go there. Yeah, library than granary because this place needs a little bit of help growing. And that's fine. So we're still doing right there. Who grew here? Dongla has grown. Uh, and we need to maximize food right now because we took a bit of a hit from the Writer's Guild. 23 is the best I can do, really. Ooh, that not so good. Yeah, we got to optimize food some more. It's going to cripple our production a little. Not a fan of that. We are going to crank the stable out. Let's do that that way first then. So we need to make up for the production we're going to lose. Because any tile I remove is going to be costing me two. It's not so good. Uh, like that. And the stoneworks will help it. And then, okay, that's... That's okay. I just want to keep growing in my capital. That's my major, major concern right now. Since we started staffing the guild. And we also need to be able to staff the university when it comes around. Road done? Road done. Keep going. Keep roading. Uh, yep. Keep going. I'm going to wait a turn to see where we expand. It's obviously not going to be there, but it's alright. You finish that farm? Finish this farm. And we got the fish already, so let's work the fish instead. I said work the fish instead. Oh, I guess we can work that with Faraz, but... No, it's okay. We'll keep working it with Kerma. Faraz has enough food, I think, for the long haul. Let's keep going. Joseph Mephis in Mogadishu. Okay, so... Well, that's good, I guess. Are they still at it? Ptolemy's, Ormush, and Mogadishu. Okay, so he's he's at war with Cleo now. And Cleo got allies with Mogadishu. Okay, well, let's just see how this war goes, I suppose. I wonder if the city is going to kick his butt like something fierce. We'll see. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get past Ramsey's lands here, which is kind of a downer. I'm going to need to try to go around Jerusalem, maybe. Mm, it's going to be tough, actually. He's really settled this place down. I'm going to have to go back home. And go around to Narmer. So does it make sense to explore the rest of the map? I think it does. I'm just going to go back here and go west instead. I'll circle around later. Alright, and perfect. You can be able to farm there. That works for me. Alright, so far so good. Keep going. Aha! So I decided against it. Maybe he'll settle up here, actually. And we'll have friction between these three. And then they'll likely not target me. Because I'll have a strong front here. Yeah, he's going to go up back up there. Which is kind of what I wanted to see. I don't want him to settle down here past me. I don't want him to settle past my lines. He's got a lot of freaking scouts here. Food for all! Hey, that's actually really good. I wanted Dongola to grow a little harder, and we just did. Uh, Borders Kasri Ibrim have grown. Cool. Time for another freshwater farm. That's excellent. Kasri Ibrim uh, could always grow some more. Uh, that's peace alre already. Uh, he didn't take one of Cleo's cities, did he? I hope not. I think she's still doing okay. He's a 10 city. Let's get he's settling these crap cities all the time. Alright. Uh, let's go back north then, I guess, because Ramsey doesn't look like he's going to let me buy. He's pretty low tech, actually. Still got horsemen. Uh, not the highest tech unit in the field. 
But now I think we can buy the core. Oh, I'm four gold off. Oh, wait. I have buddies with Ramsey. He can give me flat gold. He probably has it. Oh, he's five gold, really. Uh, how about five gold in GPT? What would you give me for the horse? I don't want to give him open borders. Let's just do like that. Okay. This is a deal, buddy. Take it. I just want the money right now because I can't afford to lose that coral. All right. Got it. All right, so we're going to quickly detour to build a work boat. Um, probably before the amphitheater. That's enough time, yeah. All right, let's do it that way, and then we'll be better off on the long haul. The cargo ship, now that things are less barbarian prone, looks like this will be handled. I can probably send this to Avarice or whatever good routes we have. It's going to be a little safer now that civs are expanding their domains. Yeah, Faras to Avarice is the best uh, money route I have right now. It may change hands, but for now, let's send it to Avarice. Uh, nine gold, because it <laughs> because it supports Avarice, meaning greed. That is funny on some level, I suppose. It is ironic, and it's humorous. All right, let's keep going. What do we got? We'll get plus one happiness there, so that'll absorb some of the damage that we've been taking. Onward and upward. Yeah. Oh, wow. Didn't you just become buddies and you did not? This dude is freaking out of control. Not only is he dropping like 80 cities, he is beyond, beyond schizophrenic. My God. And he has a big military, granted. He has a lot of units. But we're going to, you know, upgrade and we'll be fine, I think, against him. Because he's going to have trouble landing and really making a front line against us. Uh, we have a lot of good terrain to fight from, so he's going to have trouble breaking our lines. It's just going to be really annoying to have him just running around going like, I'm going to get you! I hope Narmer settles here first before he does. Oh, Narmer already settled Neck and he's going to settle another one. Well, that's a settling rush here. I thought I was doing a lot of settling this game. Uh, I guess I'm not. Hixo's still at one. Narmer's going to be at, what are you now? At eight cities. Yeah, so, I mean, we're doing better. We have we have six cities, I suppose. That's it's superior to what we had before, but damn. There's a lot of settling going on right now. Get you back in the road so you can move easier, I suppose. Get you right there. Alrighty, and I think I'm going to call this episode there, guys. We're expanding well, and so are our neighbors, it would seem. And it looks like war is inevitable at some point. Uh, my guess is, you know, gameplay-wise, I want to take Narmer's capital because it's going to be way more valuable. Feeling wise, I want to go and burn down every single city Ramsey's ever dropped and enjoy myself doing it. So there's competing interests here, is kind of what I'm trying to say. But we'll figure out what to do next time as Ramsey drops another dumbass city here and tries to take over more of the land, mass, and space, and we'll see what we can do about him. Until such time, though, I've been Urs. This has been the Battle for the Nile. See you all next time. All right, till then.